After waiting for the return of the steelhead, fishers cast their hooks into the Boise River today. Wildlife officials have stocked hundreds of fish in the Boise River over the last two weeks. Anyone hoping to catch and keep them needs a fishing license and an additional steelhead permit. Photojournalist A.J. Howard takes us to the river. I've lived here all my life and I wait for these few weeks out of the year to come down and go steelhead fishing. It takes different experience to catch the steelhead over the trout. And they put a, they put a lot of uh, planters in as well so they can, uh, kids can catch them and get, get the feel of wanting to fish instead of hang out in the rooms all day. Blue skies, no wind. It's gonna work out pretty good for them. I got a feeling I'm gonna do all right today. I came from all the way from Pocatello, so I'm here to catch another steelhead. I missed one over here by the tree, and it came off. He was fighting me for a while. They're still moving. The fish are they're biting, but they're barely nipping on it. So you got to know how to set the hook and know what's a rock and what's a stick, you know. It's pretty, pretty fun. It's addicting. In addition to a fishing license, anglers hoping to get a hatchery steelhead need a steelhead permit good for 20 fish. Boise River steelhead limits are two fish per day, six in possession, and 20 for the fall season. Barbless hooks are not required for Boise River steelhead angling. 